Hello, uh, my name is Ian Manet from Nagaoka University of Technology. In today's introduction to uh, literature, we are going to see evaluation of the Bible as a resource for cross-language information retrieval. This paper was uh, presented at the Proceedings of Workshop on Multilingual Language Resources and Interoperability in Sydney. So, uh, the introduction. First, language information retrieval uh, is an information retrieval system which deals with uh, uh, retrieval of information from different language sources. Uh, for example, the query could be in English and the response or the document, the documents which are retrieved could be in another language, such as Japanese. So, uh, the user would input uh, English queries and uh, these English qu queries will be translated into Japanese and using this Japanese translation uh, documents which are uh, relevant to the uh, English source query would be retrieved. So in this process uh, the, there is a need to translate the source uh, query into the target query. And the motivation of the researchers is uh, similar to this. Uh, so there is a multilingual translation, translation uh, or collection of uh, books which is called uh, the Bible which is the holy book of the Christian uh, Christians. So um, the purpose is to evaluate empirically whether the Bible can be used as a source uh, for cross-language information retrieval and the methodology that they have used to eval for their evaluation is cross-language comparison and they were able to show the usefulness of the Bible for uh, CLIR uh, tasks. So this research was um, uh, part of another bigger project and that in that project the authors uh, are seeking to find a solution for these two questions. The first one is what ideas in global discourse are the most popular and how the popularity of ideas changes over time. So this uh, research is an uh, ideology clustering uh, task uh, which aims to cluster documents from the internet based uh, on their similarity of ideology. So they want to see how ideologically uh, documents are regardless of their uh, la the language in which they are written. And for this task uh, they need they needed a parallel corpus. So they are considering the Bible as one of the alternatives for, uh, for this uh, a bigger project. Another alternatives, other alternatives which are multilingual corpus are uh, given as follows. The first one is um, the cross language evaluation forum. Um, and this Parallel corpora is based on collection of news documents and uh, governmental communications. And there is also another well-known um, corpus or parallel corpora, which is the Canadian Hansard corpus. And also there are also other uh, resources, news resources, such as the BBC, which uh, is uh, currently at the time of the, um, uh, the publication of the paper was translated into 34 uh, different languages. Uh, but they have their own uh, limitations. Uh, if we see the first case, CLEF uh, forum, it operates only on European languages. And the Canadian Hansard corpus uh, also deals with English to French uh, translations. And uh, there are some languages which are not represented, like Arabic, and which the authors are interested in. And if, uh, for the BBC, uh, the articles Although they are found in different uh, languages, they may not be directly comparable or they may not be parallel, strictly parallel corpora. So they have certain limitations. If we see the Bible, uh, the authors refer to this research, previous research, uh, which gave uh, analysis on the usefulness of the Bible. And uh, the Bible is the most uh, translated book and it's available in more than 2,100 languages. So it's uh, available in many, many different, uh, different languages 
far more translated than other uh, books uh, present. And we can find the Bible translations easily on the internet, so it has easy availability. And there are also style variations. There are uh, books which are written in the form of poetry, uh, narratives, uh, conversations, and so on. So it has a certain uh, stylometry also. And uh, because the Bible is um, a, a holy book, there was great care in, in, in translating it from one language to another language. And also it follows a consistent structure. So there is um, the, the, the books are arranged into chapters and verses. So there is a verse to verse alignment in the Bible. Uh, it's not a sentence to sentence alignment because one verse might contain more than one sentences. Um, and uh, they showed that uh, its vocabulary appears to have a high rate of coverage uh, of modern language, so it's not completely archaic. Uh, but the, the, the Bible is compared to other huge corpus that we have uh, today, nowadays. It's uh, relatively a small uh, size, but even though it's a small size, uh, it's, it falls within the range of uh, acceptable size for research because there are also some other research which have maybe similar size to the Bible or more uh, or, or lesser size of corpora when compared to the Bible. So these are some of the analyses which we are made by previous research. And the method uh, the authors used for evaluating uh, or making empirical study on the usefulness of the Bible for, uh, for uh, cross-language information retrieval is cross-language comparison. So the implementation is based on Sandia Text Analysis Extensible Library. Uh, this system is IR, Information Retrieval, based on vec vector space model. And term weighting was done based on log entropy. So uh, there are two cross-language comparison methods which were conducted in this research. The first one, or the method one referred here, involves creating a separate textual model for each minimal unit. So here, the minimal unit is maybe a single verse or it may be a group of verse, uh, verses. So for any language lambda, there will be created a set of models, M1, M2, M3, the minimum unit models. And if, uh, if, the, if we consider the minimum unit uh, as a verse, then here the N would be 31,102. This is the, the total number of verses uh, the authors were working with in the Bible. So comparing documents across languages. To compare documents, for example, document DI, which may be written in, some, in one language like English, with another document, document DJ, for example, in Russian. They treat the text of each document as a query against all the models in its language. Um, so DI is evaluated against uh, M1 in English. So M1 is maybe one verse, M2 is another verse. So the document, the whole document, will be um, uh, will be compared. Will they will make models for every um, every verse, uh, which we mentioned uh, in the previous slides, at thirty one thousand more than thirty one thousand verse, ver, uh, uh, verses. So by making a this by using their engine, the uh, cross language uh, information retrieval engine, they uh, gave it it gives uh, a similarity matrices as the the facility SIM1 is uh, the similarity matrix or the similarity value for from DI to M1 English and similar also will be done for the another language the source language and the target language so DI is the source and DJ is the the, 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 the target language and then similarity between the DI and the DJ language will be calculated based on cosine uh, similarity of the vectors so this is the uh, our view of method one. So as we can see here, document uh, consider the document DI as a Russian uh, language and document DJ as English language. So as we can see here, this uh, metric this uh, matrix contains every verse. These are number of verses until the, the in the from the beginning of the Bible until the end of the Bible. So for, uh, for this document, there will be uh, models created for each and every verse, and these are the similarity uh, values compared to 
the document here to this verse. So they will do the same for the source document and they will do the same for the uh, target uh, document. And then between these models, they will uh, they, they, uh, calculate the similarity between these models. So the cosine similarity between these models will be calculated and that's how you, they found the similarity between these two documents. This is the method one. Uh, the other method of cross-language uh, comparison, uh, which is referred as method two, is basically similar to the method one. The only difference is a, this method two can support multilingual inputs. So maybe this, if this is Russian and, and this is English, uh, the um, input query can contain more than two uh, languages. So this may be the first language and this may be the second language. So this input is multilingual input, English and Russian together, and then they create models for, for this document based on similar methods that we discussed previously. And then they calculate the similarity between these two documents. So as opposed to uh, building um, a set of models for each and every um, um, uh, verse or model, here they build a single set of textual models for all translations. All translations meaning the Russian, the English, and if, if there are other inputs, the other inputs. So M1 might represent a model based on the concatenation of one verse in different languages, English, Russian, Arabic, and so on. And the I content with DJ is not ignored. So if you notice here, this square or this rectangle here, it represents an input from other language, from this DI language. So both this language and this language will be combined and they will calculate the similarity. So in this case, uh, the input in different languages is not ignored, but in the first case, uh, there is strictly one uh, to one uh, languages as inputs. So next uh, is the validation of the Bible as a, as a resource for uh, CLIR. So in the initial analysis, they build a matrix of all verses for each language pair and uh, one cell would uh, represent uh, a number which gives which has which is uh, the, the measure of similarity of the verse m in one language to the verse to another verse n in another language so in this in this construct the in the in the matrix the diagonal values would represent the uh, the the entries which have uh, high similarity or good similarity so verse n in one language is most similar to verse n in other language for all the n's, for all the diagonals. So this uh, table is uh, reporting an, uh, an incident in their matrix. And um, if we see here English-Russian translation, uh, this similarity score, mean similarity verse by verse, is lower when compared to the other languages. And, uh, this is due to the high inflection of Russian language when compared to the other languages, Spanish, French, uh, and English. So because of the inflection, maybe the out of vocabulary also increases. So we see that uh, there is lower similarity score when compared to Russian and in English to Russian. So there are two uh, validations that they have they they and they are they uh, perform it for evaluating the um, bible uh, usefulness for uh, cross language information retrieval the first one is simple validation here they train on the entire bible and uh, based on they validate on another uh, on other uh, corpus which are not related to bible so one is the fqs and another one is the R A L I corpora, and uh, they selected abstractors from these sources, as we can see here. Few abstractors were selected from uh, these sources, and they calculated the similarities uh, between English and Spanish. So this table shows the similarity values. S P one and English ing ing one uh, refers to the uh, the first document, perspective in English, and also its uh, its uh, counterpart in uh, this perspective here. Um, so most of the, uh, as we can see here, this 0 0.6 value is much higher 
than the other values. And this is comparing to uh, Spanish, the first uh, document in Spanish and the first document in English. So they have si high similarities. And most of the other results also, when there is similarity, the value is very high. So that means there is a clear distinction between uh, these docu two documents and the other documents which, are, which should not be retrieved. Um, except this one. So in, in four out of five cases, the engine, the uh, information retrieval engine, identified similar documents in English to, uh, English to Spanish as well as uh, Spanish um, to English. So the engine is trained on the Bible and it is evaluated on other sources, but it was able to uh, retrieve uh, relevant documents from the, uh, when tested on the other documents. So if we see the uh, traditional precision recall uh, result, the mean average precision was 0 0.8 for a recall of 1. Uh, so when compared to the previous researches, similar researches, they reported that these values are uh, higher compared to other researches. The second validation is on a larger test set. Uh, so they uh, trained uh, on the Bible uh, and they validated on 144 surahs of the Quran. Uh, the Quran is uh, the holy book of uh, the, the Muslim. Uh, so, uh, there, in, in this case, because there are larger sets, uh, large, larger test sets, then there is more uh, chance of uh, making wrong predictions or making or retrieving the documents which are not relevant to the queries. So they performed a four by four way test using four languages. Um, and this is the result. The, the four languages are Arabic, English, Russian, and uh, Spanish. Uh, so in the first row, we see that uh, when compared to the other values, the, uh, the, transla the uh, retrieval system for Arabic to Arabic uh, performed low when compared to the other systems. Uh, maybe this is because of the uh, Arabic language has high inflection and it is somewhat uh, different um, from different language family when compared to the others. So um, we see lower score here. Uh, this is the highest score when compared to the other results. And uh, when you interpret these numbers, it uh, roughly means that 60 uh, out of the 144 test uh, uh, documents almost 60 correct Spanish documents were retrieved. Um, related to the 60 queries given, there were 60 uh, correct predictions made or correct retrievals made by the system. So this is uh, what, it, what is the interpretation of these numbers. And these results also outperform the previous researches, which were, sim which were similar researches uh, done by other researchers. So in conclusion, uh, the CLIR engine is language independent and uh, it's is ex easily extensible so uh, you can uh, easily add other languages and uh, you can also expand the corpora and uh, why the Bible has not been used widely as a multilingual source for research this was the question or the thing that they want to answer from the beginning and uh, some of the reasons are uh, because the domain uh, is limited, that's the, the impression of other uh, researchers, because it's a religious document, so the domain is limited to religious text or context. Uh, but uh, these, the, the, the authors claim that the Bible deals with human concerns, so uh, like life, death, war, and love. So it has other domains also included in the Bible, and it's not uh, the language is not the old-fashioned language uh, because it, it, this issue is um, related to, to the, the way the Bible is translated. So there could be Bible uh, versions which are uh, written in simpler language. So by using these versions of the, the Bible, then uh, the, the, there could be, uh, it could be useful to use them for CLIR uh, uh, tasks. So it's not the issue is not about the content, but about the translation. So uh, the language could be made useful. And for the future, 
they want to evaluate statistically the faithfulness of translation to the original uh, Bible uh, publications, which are which were Hebrew and also Greek. So, uh, statistically, how the the current interpret uh, translations of the Bible are compared to the old translations, and also experiment with units of words as uh, morphemes, not only words but also morphemes, and. Finally, the effect of homographic cognates on performance. So, an example is the French word uh, coin, which means corner, and the same word coin in English means different thing. So, what would be this effect, the effect of these cognates on the performance of uh, cross language information retrieval system? Uh, so, uh, with this, we come to the end of today's uh, presentation. Thank you very much.